Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. Thank you once again uh, uh, for subscribing to my channel. Okay, so today I wanted to do a video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats and in particular I wanted to um, uh, share an, an, an analogy that I use with a lot of my patients to try and help them understand why ectopic heartbeats happen. Maybe it'll help you, all right? Um, so the first thing I do is when someone comes to me complaining of ectopic heartbeats, uh, they'll often say, what are ectopic heartbeats? They'll often say this, they get this kind of thing, okay? They get this. That's how they feel their heart. Uh, and so they say, well, this looks very, this is very uncomfortable. Why is this happening, etc." So the first thing I try and tell them is this, that if you take a hundred people off the street, ask them if they have any problem with their heart whatsoever, and they say, no, you do a monitor on them, you will find ectopic heartbeats on that 24 hour monitor in about 60% of those patients. If you take the same group and did a seven day monitor, then I would wager that you would find ectopic beats on every one of those people. But these ectopic beats are asymptomatic. The patient does not notice that they are happening. All right. So that's the first thing. And a lot of people struggle to understand that because they say, well, you know, how is it possible that people don't even notice these things when I notice everyone and it feels so incredibly uncomfortable. But this is the truth. If you take um, uh, anyone, any population, uh, about 60% of them will be getting ectopics in a 24 hour period. Uh, so I try and explain to them that, look, actually, you know, you're getting what everyone else gets. However, those people don't feel uh, them and you are feeling yours. So your problem is not the fact that you're getting them because everyone gets them. The problem is that you're feeling them. That's your problem. So in some ways, ectopic beats could be likened to snakes. You could say that everyone has some snakes in their garden, all right? Because everyone gets ectopic beats on a monitor, so you could say everyone has some snakes in their garden. Uh, I hope no one's scared of snakes, and if this is a rubbish analogy, then please don't hesitate to let me know. But if everyone has snakes in their garden, then why is it that some people notice the snakes and other people don't notice the snakes. And to my mind, there are only two possibilities. The first is that maybe the people who are noticing the snakes have a lot more snakes than everyone else, and that's why they're noticing them. Or the other possibility is that the people who are noticing the snakes are in some way looking out for the snakes, okay? They're either scared of the snakes or they're looking out for them. Um, now, if we try and address the question of how many, uh, maybe the reason you're noticing the snakes is because you're getting too many or because you have too many snakes, well, that's easily answered because if you have a halter monitor, it will tell you about the burden of ectopics you're getting. How many ectopics are you getting in a 24 hour period? Um, most, you know, pretty well much everyone in the general population will get about a, in, a, in a day about 100 ectopics, all right? Um, some people have a few more. When is it too many? Well, it, when you're getting about 20,000 in a day. If you're getting more than 20,000 consistently in a day, then that's too many. But otherwise, um, uh, if you're only getting 100 or 200 ectopics on a monitor, then you do not have any more snakes in your garden compared to the other person who doesn't even notice the snakes, all right? So that is not the problem. The second problem is that you are uh, hyper vigilant or you are looking out for them and this is a very common problem because pretty well much everyone I speak to pretty well much everyone I speak to who has ectopics uh, if I've spoken to 3,000 people 2,999 of them will admit to having a more anxious disposition okay so they a lot of people will say um, I have a more anxious personality uh, they say, but I notice these even when I'm not anxious. But actually, when you go back and you talk to them, they will all admit to having a more anxious personality. And that anxious personality is which is what makes them hyper vigilant. Okay, so in some ways, what tends to happen to a lot of people is that at a time of stress or something like that, they notice one. Okay, they notice something that would have been happening normally anyway. But because they've noticed it, it's very difficult not to unnotice it. Uh, it's very difficult to unnotice it and it's very difficult not to look out 
for another one. Okay, there was some interesting research done in America where they took a bunch of people who suffered from anxiety, strapped them to a heart monitor, and then proceeded to make them more anxious. And lo and behold, as these people got more anxious, they had more ectopics on their monitor. So the problem with anxiety is A, you look out for things, you, are, you lower your um, threshold for picking up things, things which may be happening completely normally, but two, in some way the anxiety causes more to happen. So this is my explanation and this is the explanation I offer to a lot of people and now I've shared it with you so I hope you find it useful. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, we're coming up to the festive season so I wish you all really well. Uh, I'll try and do some more videos during this time. Um, if uh, you get the chance please consider uh, joining my WhatsApp broadcast where there's a lot of original content. That is on 0795131. 0008. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care.